Hey everybody, Jay here again with my favorite subject. This is just a series about me and my interests and my life and my transgender journey. I am not an expert. Uh, these are just my experiences and my own opinions. Um, I've been transgender for about four years now. A student actually asked me about it today and I had to do the math and I was like, yeah, I started my transgender journey in early 2016. And I was like, wow, that's... Uh, seems like so long ago and sometimes it feels like it just started. Now technically my transgender journey started much longer ago when I first started realizing the strange feelings I was having uh, in middle school but you know I like to say that my modern or current transgender journey uh, is about four years old. So I'm continuing with answering the 30 questions uh, that some of which I answered online as part of the Transgender Day of Visibility which is March 30th and uh, these are a series of questions that transgender people, you know, can tend to, to answer and that I openly answered. Several of my friends uh, asked those questions and I answered some of them and now I'm answering them again in a video form and also answering some of the ones that weren't asked. So, so we continue now with number three, which is, what are your pronouns? Now, technically, I already answered this question in my very first my favorite subject episode uh, where I went in depth into the, the three main pronoun groupings and, and why I, I'm okay with all three of them, both he and him, she and hers, and they then theirs. So this time, instead, I thought I'd go through a, a list of specific pronouns and give you my take on why I accept them and or why I don't accept them because, again, I don't accept them all. I accept most, but not all. So I figured I'd go down the list and uh, do what we can do. So first off, we have she or her. I'm perfectly okay with this pronoun at all times. It's actually my preferred pronoun, I would say, most of the time. There have been times that I was out masculinizing, with my hair pulled back, wearing a suit and a tie and loafers, and I handed my ID to somebody and they were like, you know, okay, thank you, ma'am. And I'm like, okay, they'll look at the name, which says James, and they'll correct themselves afterwards. But then she handed it back and said, have a good day, ma'am. And I realized that that made me feel really good. And then there's times that I am femizenting, like today, and I get called he, and it's a little off-putting. It bugs me a little. In certain contexts, I don't mind. And on the whole, I am genetically XY under all of this, and um, I've come to accept it. So next we have Miss or Ms. And again, I'm okay with these, but it's kind of conditional. It's like if somebody sees me from a distance and they don't already know me and they say, excuse me, miss, I'm okay with that. But once they get to know me, I do prefer mix, which we'll get to in a little while. Next, we have ma'am. Perfectly okay with this. It goes right along, in my opinion, with she and her. So I'm okay with people saying, excuse me, ma'am. And again, I get that little warm feeling in my chest when I hear it. This one isn't necessarily a pronoun per se, but it's feminine compliments, like beautiful or pretty. And again, I'm perfectly okay with that. Again, I think it's more appropriate in certain conditions. If I'm masculinizing, I don't think that pretty works, you know? And that's why when we get to that section, uh, I will explain why I'm okay with handsome and um, attractive as well. The next pronoun we have is lady. I love lady as a pronoun. I use it in a lot of my superheroes. I have lady timeline. I have uh, lady death. You know, well, I don't have that, but lady death is a, a thing. So I, I love lady as a pronoun. Next on the list is sis. Also, I love using sis. My sister calls me her sister, and I'm totally okay with that. As I said in my other one, I'm kind of squidgy about my mother calling me her daughter, so I don't pressure her on that. Instead, she calls me her child. Next on the list is girl, traditional spelling. And I'm okay with that. Hey girl, how you doing? Totally okay with that as a pronoun. And then immediately followed by girl with a U, which again, I'm also okay with. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's fun and interesting and doesn't bother me at all. Now we come to queen. And if you know me, you know I love queen. Yes, queen! So feel free to uh, use that pronoun anytime you like. 
Then we have a series of pronouns, things like honey, or sweetie, or babe, or hun. And again, I'm really okay with them. I think they're endearing. Certain people probably can't get away with them, you know, creepers or people that I don't know very well. So uh, again, it's a conditional one, but I don't, uh, I do like them. Next we have princess. Just as much as I like being called a queen, I like being called a princess, so feel free. The last feminine pronoun on the list is mommy. I don't like this one so much. I think that is a very um, personal, very private use of the name. I mean, if it's somebody that you're intimate with, even though I don't, I don't think I would like that. Um, if I was presenting as a pregnant woman, as I do in some of my cosplays, yeah, it would be okay. Hey, mommy. Okay. But that, you know, hey, mommy, flip over those pancakes. No, I don't really go for that. And even from my own children, I don't expect them to call me mommy because I'm not their mother. Moving into the male pronouns, we start with he, him. Now, again, this one is conditional. If I'm, as I said before, if I'm femizenting, not really, not really enjoying it, but I will tolerate it. However, if I'm mascusenting, then he, him is totally appropriate. So, again, conditionally. Next on the list, we have Mr. Again, this is my legal name, you could say. So, it's okay. Certain documents have to say Mr. for reasons. And if I'm mascusenting, you know, Mr. Stilopec is perfectly acceptable. Then we have Sir, which again, I'm okay with as long as I'm mascusenting. Uh, if I'm femizenting, don't really dig it. Uh, so, you know, ma'am is always preferred. Now I want to move into the masculine compliments. Uh, they're okay as long as I am mascusenting or portraying a male cosplay character. You know, then I'm, I'm handsome. I'm uh, attractive. So I think those work in certain context. Next on the list, we have dude. Now, for me, I consider dude to be more of a gender neutral term, but some people feel that it is a very masculine term and stick it there. I'm okay with it in all contexts. Moving on, we have bro and bruh. Again, conditionally, sometimes I'm a bro. You know, what's up, bro? You know, it's, it's very casual and uh, used in the right context. I'm okay with it. Bro and bruh, good to go. Next we have boy. Um, again, I think this depends on the context. I would probably be okay with it uh, as long as I was mascusenting and the person was older than I was, or I can't really think of, of a, a particular example, but um, I wouldn't, I'm not going to completely say, no, don't do it ever, but I think it uh, would have to be very specific conditions. Next one we get to is king. I mean, as I spent 40 years of my life, you know, living as a cis hetero male, you know, I can say, you know, I'm a king, you know, it's, it's a compliment. Again, very conditional, very specific circumstances, specifically when I'm mascusenting. Same thing with prince, you know, oh, you're a prince. I could accept that just about any time. So the last one on the masculine pronouns is daddy. Much like with mommy, I think it, has very specific sexual connotations or if it's coming from a child and uh, my children uh, don't live with me so I don't consider myself their daddy I am just their friend so like daddy pretty much a hard no now moving into the gender neutral pronouns of course right off the top is they them theirs totally okay with these in all situations because not everybody knows how I'm presenting from one moment to the next. It was a friend online who pointed out to me when I was saying, oh, you should use whatever pronoun I am when I'm presenting. And we were online at the time and they said, I don't know what you're wearing right now. How do I know what pronoun to use? And again, because pronouns are mostly used while talking about people to other people, what are they going to do? Call me up or, you know, video phone me just to find out what I'm wearing so they know what pronoun to use? No. In that case, they, them, theirs is always appropriate when you're not sure what I'm currently presenting as. Now we move into my preferred honorific, which is mix, MX period. In England, it's referred to as mux. My students call me mix. They don't have to say mix stilopec. It's just mix. Even my coworkers just call me mix. Simple, efficient, easy to remember. 
This one on the list always makes me chuckle because it's captain. And not all pronouns are masculine or feminine. Some are already inherently neutral. Now, sometimes some might say that captain is a masculine pronoun, but there's no captainess. So clearly there's no feminine equivalent to it. So it is inherently neutral. And I'm okay with it. Oh, captain, my captain. Moving into neutral compliments. I'm okay with this, you know, attractive, looking good, good to go. Next on the list is a very large subset of pronouns called neo-pronouns. And I actually had to look this one up when somebody asked me what were my neo-pronouns. And this is things like ni, v, z, g, m, a, airs. Basically, if you take the th off of all the they, them, theirs, then you get am, airs. If you change the he or she to an n, or a v, or a z, or, a, or a, an x, then you get these neo-pronouns. I mean, I'm okay with them. If somebody uses them about me, I'm perfectly okay with it, but I just don't promote them myself. No particular reason. Next on the list, we have boy with an i. Now, I don't really feel this applies to me, I th even though it does tend to have some uh, gender-neutral uh, leanings. Uh, I still feel it's kind of like, I don't think, I can't think of the exact word, but it's, it's sometimes it can be like a put down. Um, you know, it's not like he's my boy. It's more like, you know, I don't know. I, I can't, I, I'm just not super comfortable with it. Uh, I can't explain it. And, um, I'm not going to stop anybody else from using it because, you know, pronouns should be that much of a choice, but it's just not for me. Next on the neutral list, we have it and its. I definitely don't like these. I mean, I may be okay with they, them, theirs, but uh, in other cases, there are other words that you can use, like person uh, and such, when referring to uh, the, the general uh, physicality of a person, of someone. Next on the list, we have some semi-gender neutral uh, terms, like pal or buddy, friend, comrade. Totally okay with any of these. You know, again, depending on the context, anything can be taken in a negative context if it's said wrong, but I'm okay with most of these other terms. Next, we have sib, which is now a short term for sibling, and I'm totally okay with that. Uh, my sister chooses to use sis, and I'm okay with that, but I have a cousin, and she likes to call me her pibling, which is parent's sibling, and I really like that. I think it's cute. All right, that does it. A whole lot of very specific pronouns. Uh, thanks for sitting through it till the end, and maybe you'll look into using some of these pronouns for yourself. I certainly learned a little bit more about what my likes and dislikes were uh, when it comes to how people refer to me. If you have any questions, feel free to put them down in the comments below. Please subscribe and feel free to share this video all you like. Take care. I love you. See you around.